हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सर्कल प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फिगर रे पी क्यू टच द सर्कल एट पॉइंट क्यू पी क्यू इज सपोज टू बी ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर दैट मींस दिस डिस्टेंस इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर पी आर इज एट देन फाइंड पी एस एंड आर एस ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंसेज बिटवीन दैम सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द सोल्यूशन रे First, we will write whatever is being given. P P Q is tangent, isn't it? Tangent to the circle at point Q. Okay. Next line P R S. We are saying line because this is. Till here, in the figure it has been given as it is. Textbook also the same figure is there. Is secant? This is supposed to be the secant intersecting the circle at point R S. Okay, so this is a secant which which is intersecting the circle at R N. s okay so first reason and the second reason we have given so from this what we have to use tangent secant segment theorem okay so after writing the statement whatever is been given we have to use the tangent secant theorem okay directly apply it therefore substitute its value 12 square is equal to 8 into ps therefore PS is equal to twelve into twelve upon eight. Now twelve square that is I have written it twice. Therefore PS is equal to eighteen. Okay, reduces. I ho I hope everyone know how to reduce it. Therefore now we have to find the distance of PR and RS, isn't it? So plus RS is equal to PS. This is supposed to be the line. I'll show you. P S R. Okay. So substitute its value over here. Now we are having P R R S. We need to find P S. We are already having eighteen. We have found the answer. So R S is supposed to be eighteen minus eight. Therefore R S is supposed to be ten. So this is your answer. The two things that they had asked P S. And R S. We have got the answer. Isn't it simple? In figure called M N and R S intersect at the point D. Two questions they have given. We have to find when the uh, distance between the uh, segments is give is been changed. Okay, they have changed the distance so that we will be able to find D N at the first condition and D S at the second condition when these segments and these units are being used. Okay, so let's start with the first to prove the first one. So, cord M N and R S intersects at point D. Okay, inside the circle, they are they are intersecting inside. Both the cords are intersecting each other inside the circle. Therefore, by the theorem of internal division okay so therefore by theorem of internal division of chords of chords you all have to observe the figure children and then decide which theorem we need to use it so directly we will apply it dm into dn is equal to dr into ds okay so therefore 8 into dn 15 into 4 therefore dn is equal to 15 into 4 upon 8 therefore dn is equal to 7.5 so we have got a first answer by using the theorem of internal division of chords okay now let's solve the second one second question okay so over here we need to find ds when the 
these measurements have been given we have to find ds so let we will substitute ds as x okay so br plus ds is equal to rs because b is between r and s they are forming a complete segment c okay so therefore br plus x is equal to 18 therefore br is equal to 18 minus x now chords m n and r s intersect at each for uh, each other at the point d isn't it they are intersecting each other inside the circle okay so again this theorem only we will use that is by theorem of by theorem of internal division of chords okay so in both the questions we have to use the same theorem dr into ds okay so 9 into 8 these values are already been given in the question children and dr we have found it that is supposed to be 18 minus x into x therefore 72 is equal to 18 minus x and x square therefore x square minus 18x plus 72 is equal to 0 okay so we have got an equation so we will split the middle term x x minus no we will first uh, split let's do it step by step x square minus 18x minus 6x plus 72 so what we have done is split it the middle term in this way okay in order to get 72 and after division and subtraction we should be able to get 18 okay so therefore take the common terms x minus 12 is equal to i have already explained this in the first chapter children if you all haven't followed it please follow it so that it will be clear why we have uh, what is splitting the middle term and uh, what we have to do for splitting the middle term now we have taken both the equations as x minus 12 is equal to 0 and x minus 6 is equal to 0 once with this once with this okay so we have just separated it so x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 6 so therefore ds is equal to 12 and ds is equal to 6 so both the answers we have got in form of ds to ds we have got we have to leave it okay let's solve the next question in figure o is the center of the circle b is the point on of contact segment oe is perpendicular to segment ad ab is 12 so this centimeter is 12 cm ac that is still here it is 8 cm ad we have to find ad dc and de okay so again we have to use tangent secant theorem children over here because you will see that ab is touching the circle at point b outside the circle okay so line ace sorry acd we will take is secant intersecting at the point c and d okay so therefore directly we will use by tangent Second segment theorem. You'll have to observe the figure, children, and then decide which theorem we have to apply over here. So, a b square is equal to a c into a d. Okay. So, why we have taken because this segment is intersecting at two points over here, whereas this is intersecting outside the circle. Okay. So, we have to use this. Theorem only. Now substitute its value. Twelve square is equal to eight into eighty. Therefore, eighty is equal to twelve into twelve upon eight. So when you reduce it, answer is going to be eighty is supposed to be eighteen. Okay. So first you all have got that is eighty is supposed to be eighteen. now take ac plus cd now when i am writing children 
please refer the diagram so that you will understand it now why we have taken this statement because c is between a and d okay so this is d c is between a and d okay that is why this plus this is going to be this that is what we have written now when i am writing please refer the textbook or the diagram therefore c d is supposed to be 18 minus 8 therefore c d is supposed to be 10 C D or D C, therefore D C is supposed to be ten. You have got your second answer. Now, segment for the last one. O E is perpendicular to the chord C D, which has already been given in the question. Okay, so perpendicular drawn from the center to the circle of the chord bisects the chord, isn't it? If it is drawn, it bisects the chord. Into two equal part. If it has been drawn as a perpendicular bisector, so therefore DE is equal to half of CD. Okay, so when I am writing this, refer the diagram because I cannot show you. Keep on showing, showing you up and down. The screen gets blurred. So refer the diagram when I am writing the formula so that you will be able to connect to it. Is equal to half into CD is supposed to be ten. So two ones are two fives are. Therefore. D E that is the last term that we had to find is supposed to be five. Okay, so all the three terms we have got it. Let's solve the next one. In figure P Q is six, Q R is ten, P S is eight. Find T S. Okay, so all are been given. We have to only find this. This chord we have to. fine so what we have to do is whatever is been given we will write it down pr is equal to pq plus qr okay so why we have taken this because it's very easy to find children why we have directly taken because see if this segment is already we are having we can get pr very easily okay so therefore for finding pr 6 plus 10 we have got up pr as 16 that means this is 16 okay so this segment is supposed to be how much 16 i will write it over here if it's not clear okay so pr is 16 now chord st and qr intersect at point p outside the circle okay so this chord when it extended it comes over here qr this chord when is it extended it's come and get both the points intersect at point p so what uh, theorem we are going to use we are going to use external division of chords okay not internal division before we had used uh, internal division now we are using external division so external division a theorem of external division of chords got it children how to find the theorem that you all have to apply by observing the figure so pt directly apply the theorem pr that is 8 into pt as it is 6 into 16 therefore pt is supposed to be 6 into 16 upon 8 81 za 82 za so therefore pt is supposed to be 12 okay so pt we have got Now we need to find T S for finding T S. P S. Refer the diagram, children. When I am writing this statement is equal to P T. Why we have taken this statement? Because S is between P and T. So therefore, substitute its value. P S is eight. T S. We need to find it. Twelve. Therefore, T S is equal to twelve. Sorry, twelve minus eight. Therefore. T S is equal to four. You have got your answer. Isn't it easy? Only the theorems that is to be used. You all have to think over it. In segment E F is a diameter, and now this is the diameter, and segment D F is a tangent segment. The radius of the circle is R, so this is supposed to be R. Prove that that we have to prove this thing. Okay, so let's start. First, we have to write whatever is been given, whatever is important for us to. Uh, conclude our theorem we have to write it so df is tangent to the circle okay touching 
it is touching at point F. Okay, this point it is touching to the circle. Okay, now line D G F is secant intersecting so whatever it is there tangent it is there it is secant whatever is there we have to write it so that it supports the theorem that we have taken and e so therefore by tangent secant segment theorem isn't it easy? So why we have written all this? So that we can conclude it by using this theorem and why we have used that theorem. So df square is equal to dg into de. Let's keep it as first using this theorem. We got it. Therefore, triangle dfe angle dfe is supposed to be 90 degree. Okay. By tangent theorem. So therefore, you will see that we have formed a 90 degree angle over here. Okay, so we can very easily use Pythagoras theorem. So by PT theorem or Pythagoras theorem, DE square is equal to DF square. Apply your Pythagoras theorem, DF square. Okay, so DE square is equal to DF square plus 2R square. Why 2R square? Because it's... Uh, we have taken R as radian. Diameter is twice the radius. That is why we have taken 2R. Now, DE square is equal to DF square plus 4R square. Okay. When we take the square roots. Therefore, 4R square is equal to DE square minus DF square. Just change the places. Therefore, 4R square is equal to DE square minus DG into DE from first. Okay, so from first, from this statement, we have mixed. Instead of writing D, DF square, we have written DG into DE. Okay, so this is what is substituting its value. So DG DE minus DG. Okay, so therefore 4R square is equal to DE into GE because G is between D and E. So from this statement DE into GE is equal to 4R square. We have got what we was asked for. So I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. If there is any uh, confusion please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you all. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye.